Uh, today we are, we are on, on session number five of, of our diabetes management clinic. As you know, you can start at any given point, so if this is your first time, don't, don't feel stressed. Uh, uh, we'll go through all of them. But uh, we're, we're going we're gonna to be focusing on some review, as we always talk about today, uh, at the beginning of every session. And, uh, and then we're going to focus on some specifics. We're going to look at some transforming tests today. Some of you have already sat down with me in a, a clinical consultation and looked at some of these transforming tests. They, these laboratory tests, I call them transforming because they, number one, they kind of shock us into a new understanding of what's going on but also give us opportunity to recognize that this is indeed reversible to a large extent. At minimum, we can prevent the complications. Today, we're going to be focusing on the complication of chronic kidney disease leading to end-stage renal disease. That's a very common complication of diabetes. In fact, 50% of all end-stage renal disease patients who require kidney dialysis have that condition because of poorly controlled diabetes. The good news is we can prevent that from happening. Do not assume, do not ever think that this is an inevitable part of diabetes, that eventually this is going to happen or some type of complication like that is going to happen. That is absolutely not necessary. It is absolutely preventable. Of course, that's a, one of the purposes for this program. We're really addressing how to optimize blood sugars. And really, all of us have the potential for blood sugar problems. When I say all of us, I mean all of us inclusively. The entire population of the world has potential for blood sugar problems. And I would dare say that the majority of individuals have had, at times, problems with their blood sugars. I have. And, and uh, so this program is not only designed to help individuals with diabetes to prevent those, those critical complications that can arise, but it's also dealing with prediabetes or the earlier stages of high blood sugar before prediabetes, hypoglycemia, any imbalance in blood sugar, which, as we've already pointed out in other sessions, is a more critical indicator of cardiovascular disease than is high cholesterol. Now, I'm not suggesting that cholesterol and the concerns about cholesterol should be thrown out the window. We're actually going to be talking about that next week in detail, looking at the newer tests, the VAP cholesterol profile tests that, that give us so much more information than the standard lipid profile, the standard cholesterol profile that we've used now for, for 20 years or more. So we're going to be looking at that uh, and other tests next week. So um, let's begin today by asking that all-important question, what is diabetes? Now, some of, you, some of you have the right answer to that. Anybody want to venture? What is, how do we accurately define diabetes? <laughs> diabetes is a blood sugar that is high enough to cause serious complications. So that's a, that's a critical definition. So many of us are still in this mode, well, I just kind of have some borderline diabetes. It's not really diabetes. Last week I spoke to that in detail. But we have to get away from this mentality that this just blood sugar is a little bit high. It's really not that big of a deal. No, if, if diabetes has been mentioned at all, Okay. If, there's a, if there's a borderline, that means we are diabetic, and that is high enough to cause serious complications already. It's not the future, it's already that high. That's why, that's how diabetes is defined. 